welcome back to Valve Ventures. This is going to be a short video. I just want to show a new piece of equipment I've got and what I'm doing with it. I've had a problem with long trailers, semis, tractor trailers, uh, long low boys with equipment coming in and being able to get turned around in here. So I'm making a new road. I'm starting to. What you see behind me here, there's a spur coming from the main road that comes into here already. I'm changing it, turning it, running it up our east line along the lawn, the pie-shaped lawn. And when it comes out towards the building, it'll join up with the original road coming across the entryway. That way we can make nice, long, smooth turns. We'll be able to get long loads in here. To do that, I'm going to end up being using this. What we're using is our 2005 T190. Bought it in an auction in Hawaii. Spent probably six, seven months rebuilding a lot of it. Only to send it up here, find out I had to rebuild a lot more of it. This last, I'll call it Cyber Monday, January, I ran across a really great deal on the Skid Pro stump bucket with grapple. And I hemmed and hawed for a while. Finally sprung for it. It showed up in January. That's actually why I came up here that trip was to meet it. It showed up a couple days after I did, of course. And finally get to use it. Since the mosquitoes are out in force and there's a mama moose and a couple of calves around here close, I'm going to cut the narration short, jump in the skid steer, and show you what this thing can do. Let's go for a ride.
that's pretty much it in a nutshell. That stump buck is amazing. It's half inch thick steel, it's got a bend at the bottom up near the top to give it a better fulcrum, more leverage. The grapple on top has an amazing grip strength. I've, I think the most I've picked up is maybe five to six of the full tree four to six inch black spruce that were beetle kill. And the bigger, the smaller stumps I can shave right underneath them, pop them out. The bigger stumps I have to, like you saw the last one, I had to rip the roots, cut them out. It has serrated edges on the bucket to help with that. So you can actually saw through the big roots, pop them out. And without that thing, I'd be in here ripping with choke chains, digging with the backhoe, pulling with the trucks, whatever it took. But this thing, I, I could probably knock all this out, clear it out enough to start scraping the overburden off and get the gravel pile out. I'm going to move all this material in here, all the peat moss, the dirt, the organics, move it over to the the old existing road that goes past the well so that that can basically become forest floor, lawn, grass, something pretty so we have a nice big, basically a very very large loop for our driveway. But enough chattering, let's get back to just, let's go throw this thing on a time lapse, see what happens. Let's have some fun. That's going to be it for this. 
all the stumps are ripped out in the main portion. Got a lot of cleanup to do, got to pull the overburden out. But I'm pretty happy with it. That went fast, that went easy, and more importantly, that was fun. I'll catch you on the next one. Have a great day.